Hello everyone, welcome back. So I got myself a new knife. What? You're saying you've seen that knife? Well, yeah, actually you have. I made this knife, um, I actually forged this blade out of um, a file. And this thing is absolutely scary sharp. It's got a walnut handle, aluminum, a uh, bolster, and a uh, guard. And um, I absolutely love this knife. I love the handle of this knife. After I made this knife, I was watching some uh, videos on uh, blacksmiths and knifesmiths making puko knives. And obviously, I've got the design is it just reminds me of a puko knife um, and even the way the sheets made so um, fast forward I don't remember who it was who I the first one I watched but fast forward to my birthday um, I guess we'll say this year <laughs> and um, people in my family they would ask uh, hey what do you want for your birthday or hey what do you want for Christmas or hey what do you want for Father's Day and I don't know when that started but it started quite a long time ago and I kinda like it because um, you know it gives them ideas and I kinda get what I want <laughs> I mean who doesn't want to get something that they want right so um, I wanted to get a Puko and I had shown my son a picture of it and he's like well buy it and that'll be my present to you for your birthday and Christmas and I was like really he's like yeah I'm like oh sweet see otherwise I wouldn't do the next part of the video where I show you where I got it and how much it cost because I would never do that with a gift if somebody gifts me something it's priceless and I would never go look to see how much it cost or anything like that. So that being said, let me show you the knife. Here it is. And it's got a dangler. And it's called the Ati. And I'm never going to be able to pronounce the rest of it, but I'll have it in the description. Jankapuko or something like that. Um, but it's written in Finnish, and it looks like possibly Russian, and English, and I guess it's called the Janka RST, and supposedly it's made, not supposedly, it is made by a father and son shop in Finland. Um, so I'm going to put a quick couple little uh, snapshots of the website I bought it because I do believe in promoting um, websites of small businesses and businesses that I got excellent service from um, so this company is up in Western New York um, a husband and a wife and they sell awesome awesome knives um, excellent customer service um, I had spoken to her uh, I had a couple questions before I bought it. It was a great interaction, um, and their prices beat everybody. Um, I could not find it cheaper than they were offering it, and I had a coupon code. And it got here in three days from New York, first class mail. I don't have any idea how that happened, but I was happy about it. So let me send you to the snapshots. All right, so here's the website, Knives of the North. And here's a sample of what they offer. Um, they have a lot of stuff, I'll tell you. Um, and then here is uh, the knife that I got. It gives a little history of it and all that. And then here's the ad for my knife. With the, you can see the $63. All right, into the knife. So check this out, folks. Oh, yeah. Look at this bad boy. Woo-wee. Nice. It's a full hidden tang. Um, a full hidden tang. Does that make any sense? <laughs> it's a through tang. 
peened over on the other end with the birch, the curly birch handle. Oh man, this thing feels sharp. This I chose to get the stainless steel blade, but let me tell you, that fits in my hand perfectly. We'll do a little tiny testing with this. And the sheath, let me tell you something. For the price that I paid, this sheath and this knife is an exceptional value. Exceptional value. I would charge $60 just to make somebody the sheath, maybe more. I mean, it's got a plastic insert, so they say. I didn't feel it in there. Yeah, down here to protect this. So there's no welt, but I'll tell you, this is a nice sheath. And of course, it's got a dangler, which I am so into these days. And that's their emblem. Looks like an eagle. It's pretty cool, man, I'll tell you. All right. So here's a card. Actually, this is a magnet and one of their cards. You have so many choices when shopping online. We at Knives of the North appreciate your business. Thank you. Well, thank you, Knives of the North. All right, let's see how sharp this is. I did absolutely nothing. I opened the box. I took it out of the sheath. I looked at it. I put it back in the sheath, and I was waiting for today to do the video. So let's see. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Look at this, folks. Wow. Wow. Let's try right as a tip. Now that is out of the box sharp. So I will be doing nothing in the sharpening department to this knife. I absolutely, I'm, I'm just looking at it as you are right now, and I am totally blown away. I absolutely love this. And again, fits perfectly in the sheath. I can feel the plastic down there. Excellent retention. And this is going to be my, um, my field knife pretty much every single time I go into the woods when I'm hunting. I love it. Look at this, huh? So there you have it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing everything right, but the Ati Jankapuko knife um, from Finland. Uh, absolutely gorgeous knife. Absolutely so sharp. For those that know me, um, I love knives, but I'm not super into very, very large knives. Because I found that, uh, you know, especially when I'm processing deer, not so much processing deer, but field dressing the deer, um, that the bigger the knife was, the diff more difficult it was for me. I mean, basically, you know, I use a very, very small knife um, to get the tasks done. Now, you know, camp knife and all of that kind of stuff, that's a whole different story. You know, you're going to start batoning and, you know, processing a lot of wooden stuff, you know. So, basically, I would have two types of knives. Um, but this one would be my belt knife, and I'll tell you what, this would make an excellent carver and um, field dressing knife and, you know, whatever else you need it for. Again, it fits so all. It's like I can't put it down. I love it. This thing is nice. Very, very thick blade. Look at that. And like all, you can pause the video before, you know, uh, uh, earlier on where I have all the specs um, and definitely check it out. If you're interested in buying this, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, go, to, go to Knives of the North. Um, excellent company, like I said. You'll get the best deal there. Um, search coupon code. You'll get, you know, you'll get a couple percent off. I think I got 5% off or something like that. And they free ship, I think it's over 30 bucks or something. And again, I know I'm promoting them. I, I'm getting nothing from them. They didn't sponsor anything. Again, I just like to share when, you know, a company does the right thing. 
So there you have it. Um, my new favorite knife. <laughs> How long will that last? <laughs> this used to be my new favorite knife. <laughs> and now is it. But again, you can see. Right? You can see how. Obviously, this one's a lot smaller, but you can see where I kind of had the idea to make that, right? <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Thanks for coming along. I appreciate it, like always. I hope you all are doing well. I'm sending much, much love to all of you, my brothers and sisters. Enjoy your day, and we'll see you on the next one.